Oh my gosh! So, we have collected several videos of you of our usual hangouts, late nights, whatever. So, so there you go. Hope you like this. Don't forget us. Watch this. Yeah, no. well, I'll you let you guys know. Let me let me give you guys a perspective on this, because when we prayed over someone at the church, someone said, Josh, aren't you being presumptuous? Because that could be like a name it and claim it. You guys heard that before? Because usually people pray, and they think, you just pray, then you let God be God. Sometimes He wants to heal, sometimes He doesn't. Uh, the Bible says in Mark 11, 24, that when you pray, you believe that you received it, it'll be yours. There's no nonsense prayer in that. There's no, like, God, I'll leave. If you know God's revealed will, you will have a focused prayer to pray His revealed will, which is focus. Saying, God, you want His eye healed. Nagustuhan mo yun? Naintindihan mo? Sige, ito pa. Insert! Okay. Ready? Usa! It's been an amazing five months. It feels longer. It feels like five years, and I mean that like the most, the best five years of my life. I mean, it's so great to have somebody I can just kick it with, and you know, just talk and just be myself. And I'm absolutely grateful for the way that you've changed the way that I see God, the way I see His love for me, the way that before you, I always thought I had to perform in order for God to approve of me. But I don't know, you just. You just brought it home, man. You just like Jesus. You made it just so simple. Um, it's gonna be one long month while you're not here, but at the same time, I'm excited for when you come back. I will be there to pick you up. I don't care if I gotta cut work. I hope this isn't on Facebook. <laughs> well, you know, we'll be there to pick you up, and you know, we got your back covered. We're gonna be praying for you. We know you're gonna be doing awesome things in the stage for God, and dude. I'm gonna miss our our drive home conversations that we talk about. You know what we talk about. But uh, dude, thank you and I'm gonna miss you like hell, even though it's gonna just be a month. We will see you off and we will see you when you get back. Take care buddy, we love you. How long am I gonna stand when my head stuck under the sand?
I can say a lot, but so I, can, I don't know if I can remember it all of it, but yeah, I've, I first heard about the healing thing and it really drew me to know more about what you're talking about, like that we had this power to heal, that God has given us this gift, that it's, it's just a part of the gift. Um, and then as I got drawn, I heard about the grace message and it blew my mind away. Like, it just, it just turned my head around. Like, I, I, I've seen, I've seen a more real Christ. Um, during the time that I, or till the time that I met you until, until this day and forever, I <laughs> think. So, um, I'm just so thankful that I've learned so many things about the things that I've learned, the love of God. Like, you have given me the chance to share and you have challenged me to just go there and just share and it. I think it through again my passion to share about these things and to teach people about the God's love and yeah and thank you for making me see all those things because I never would have allowed myself to to see those things without even knowing you or though I knowing you so there thank you <laughs> um, yeah, um, Chevre, the Korean barbecue was the first time for me, very memorable for me because it's a first Korean barbecue experience I had with you and with the others. And then the second one was, I think your battery is slow. <laughs> so I think the second one was the one where we, Jella and I prayed for your hand and you shared a lot of your, um, stories about how you got into the healing thing and the grace thing so it made me feel more comfortable with you like how you shared all those things with us and yeah that was very very personal for me to share those things just give us this um drive and this yearning and this really passionate about God and knowing about Him and what He can do and what He already did for us. So, yeah, safe trip. And please, please, please come back. We love you. I love you. I would start with my thank yous. Um, thank you for sharing so much, sharing your life, sharing how God is real to you, how Jesus has been real to you. And just by sharing that, I know that I can speak for everyone, that we have experienced so much, that we have touched a lot of lives as well. And we thank you for giving us a new perspective on how we should see things, that it's all a matter of knowing how much God loves us and it's great because it has liberated a lot of people a lot of lives here and I know that it won't stop there it would just continue and it would just flow to more people and they would realize how much God is loving them and how much God has loved them and also I also want to thank you for the hangouts and the late nights, you know, my love language, it's time. Siguro, um, one of the memorable um, experiences I had with you is me going to Alamang because it's very, very far. But but I think I, I, I do enjoy the hangouts we have there and it's great that I get to know you more. Like I was, I was telling you this now. In a, in a way, like the guys leaving, it's it's been like quote unquote blessing because at least I got the chance to just talk to you, chill with you more, and get to know you more. 